Hi, I'm Chase Thompson Baugh with Simply Mac, your local source for everything Apple. We're a Utah based Apple specialist with eight stores in Utah, Idaho, and Wyoming. And today we're going to show you some more quick tips on the iPad that I know you're just going to love. Now I'm going to show you how you can pull up the virtual keyboard on the iPad. So if I want to access the keyboard on the iPad, basically all I have to do is go to an area that requires text, and the keyboard should just come up. So for instance, if I come here to Notes, let me go ahead and start a new note, and you'll see I'm in a text field, so the keyboard just came up. I can dismiss it by tapping here, and I can bring it back by tapping again where I need some text. So I can go ahead and type. Another thing that you can do with this keyboard as well, you'll notice that on this uh, little keyboard button, there's a couple little dashes right here on the right side. And basically, if I tap and hold on here, I can split the keyboard into two pieces. Now if I tap and hold on that, I can kind of move it up and down. This is really nice for thumb typing. Not so much in a landscape setting, but if you have the iPad in portrait, this is a really good time saver. Now you can also keep the keyboard together. So let's do that one more time. We'll go to undock though. Now the keyboard has come up to the center, so let's go ahead and let's move it up to the top so maybe I can see what I'm typing down here instead. So I'm just going to kind of pull it down. So really quickly just tap and hold and kind of pull down and then I can push it up to the top. Now I can continue typing, which this is kind of in the way, but I can continue typing and my text would show up here at the bottom. Now it is showing up, it would just have to come all the way down first. So let's hit return a couple of times and now I can continue typing like that. If you don't like that, don't worry, just tap and hold and tell it to dock again and everything's back to normal. Now another thing that's interesting about the keyboard, if we come here to settings, Really quickly, let's come all the way down here. So I'm going to tap on keyboard. And here we have a couple of settings for our keyboard. If you're somebody that doesn't like it when the keyboard auto capitalizes some things, you can shut that off. If you don't like auto correction, you can shut that off. You can also have it so that it doesn't check your spelling. But I do recommend this one in most cases because even though you may not like auto correction, we do misspell some things sometimes and that is helpful. We also have the enable caps lock. You can enable caps lock by double tapping the shift button. And we have a couple of other shortcuts here too as well. We also have international keyboards, which most people won't use. But an interesting thing about this is we can actually add in a keyboard that's called Emoji. And this is a little bit fun. You know, you may not use it, but let's go to Notes. And if I tap in again, the keyboard just comes up when it's needed. There's a new button here that looks like a little globe. If I tap on that, I now have access to alternate keyboards which I can get smiley faces, and there's a lot of different styles. But then there's also a lot of things like arrows or OK. This might be useful in a document if you're trying to set up um, specific things like uh, you know, check boxes and things like that. They won't act as check boxes, but you can still add them in and make it look like you're using that. Again, my name is Chase Thompsonbaugh, and I've showed you how you can access the virtual keyboard on your iPad.